It has arrived. I've been uh, looking forward to this for over a month. I've bought from them before and it has arrived. This is, let me try to pronounce this correctly, the Abominable... That is how you say it. <laughs> Brain fart. Uh, this is the Abominable Book Club. Um, this is my second time pay buying from them. So how this normally works is, this is obviously a horror book club uh, based in the UK, but they do send out to other places. Um, how this normally works, you normally need to be very fast with this because they are very, very good and they normally get sold out uh, within like the first couple of days. Uh, the first day of the month, um, you will pay for a certain type of subscription and uh, that then goes towards the next box. Not the box for that month, but the next box. So I bought this on like the 1st of October and this was for November box. And I've also done the same for December. So I've paid in November and I'm getting December's one as well. Uh, let's just dive into it because I've never been, I, haven't, I wasn't disappointed last time and hopefully I'm not going to be disappointed this time. I'm actually quite excited about this, so... That was heavy. Let's 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 do this. <laughs> but how are you book nerds doing though? That's the question for you. Oh, watch out, it's got a knife. What's that you got in your hand? A knife. No! And let me see what you oh, have! No, a knife! No! Oh my God. I don't want to break the box. Okay. Very excited. Oh. This is the full guts one, so that's the um Oh damn, okay. Ooh! Okay, I'm pretty excited about this. So, very nicely packaged box. Let's get out of the way. We don't need to see that. Um, it's got a wax seal. I love wax seal. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got in this. We've got Raw Chocolate Company Vegan Organic Salted Vanoffi Cashews. So, I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for this for so long. We've got another little bag. What is this? Oh, we've got some coffee. Oh, we've got organic. Green tea. Ven's gonna have a fucking hilarious time with this one. We've got ginger tea. <laughs> We've got hot chocolate, We've got instant Cadbury hot chocolate, and also a cappuccino. So I will be keeping them for sure because I've not had ginger tea before, so that's definitely something. But this one is what I'm kind of excited about. I love wax seals. Let's see. The wax seal is of a Probably gonna be upside down, isn't it? It's um crucifix upside down, and then it has like little letters and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Ooh, okay. Oh, I don't want to destroy the little wax seal. Maybe I can like. Where's my knife? Let's see if we can do this. I'm actually really excited about this. I'm like a child. It's the Christmas present to myself, but it's like a month early. <laughs> I'm excited for the December one for sure because they do go all out with these sorts of things they do think about what they put in the boxes and you know what for just two people who run this um fucking kudos Ooh, okay ah I broke the fucking seal either way doesn't matter so we have the J.A. Um, Curly Blood Brother meets Jeremy people call him a psychopath I call him family so some books, you all, you always will get one book that is pre-owned. And obviously we love stuff like that. Recycling. <laughs> Recycle a good book. So this says, A Chilling Journey into a Pitch Black Mind by Marshall. No, Michael Marshall. His big brother's in the Big Apple and he's got more than time to kill. Homicide detective Carson Ryder catches killers. Jeremy Ridgecliffe is one of America's most notorious murderers. But these two men with death in their veins share a dark secret. They are brothers. And now Jeremy's escaped and is at large in New York. A mysterious video at the scene of a shocking mutilation murder demands Ryder be brought in on the case. With Jeremy as the chief suspect, a manhunt begins and the body count rises. Ryder, trying to keep his secret from the NYPD and his brother alive, is trapped in a game of life, death and deceit with an unknown number of players and no clear way of winning. That actually does sound pretty interesting and I do like my sort of like murder, crime, mystery sort of stuff so I'm excited about that. Another person who writes really good ones is the uh, JD Rob um, with, with the Naked and Death series which is something I will talk about uh, at some point. Okay, let's see what we've got here. 
this is me trying to pronounce things. There we go. We got this is the next box. Um, Schrader's Chord. I may have pronounced that wrong, but I actually like the cover a little bit because it's a vinyl, and I love my vinyl records and stuff like that with a little circle in the middle. Uh, this is by Scott Leeds. Uh, let's see what it says. After his estranged father's mysterious death, Charlie Rimmick returns to Seattle to help with the funeral. There, he discovers his father left him two parting gifts, the key to the family record store and a strange black case containing four ancient records that, according to legend, can open a gate to the land of the dead. When Charlie, his sister and their two friends play the records, they unwilling, unwittingly ooh, English, open a floodgate of unspeakable terror. As the darkness ascends, they are stalked by a relentless, malevolent force and see the dead everywhere they turn. With time running out, the only person who can help them is Charlie's resurrected father, who knows firsthand the awesome power the records have unleashed. But can they close the gate and silence Schrader's court before it's too late? Very nice. Okay, that uh, sounds interesting. I like when things with music is put into it. So, yeah, that'll be cool. Ooh, okay. We've got a hardback here. Oh, and it has some... Okay, we'll have a look at that in a second. Okay, so you'd look better as a ghost by Joanna Wallage. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at this. Very nice. I've got a little bit of involved in it. Oh, I have a gift. I see people as ghosts before they die. Of course, it helps that I'm the one killing them. Very nice. Uh, the night after her father's funeral, Claire meets Lucas in a bar. Lucas doesn't know her, but it's not a chance meeting. One thoughtless mistyped email has put him in the crosshairs of an extremely put-out serial killer. But, even before they make eye contact, before Claire lets him buy her a drink, before she takes him home and carves him up into little pieces, something about that night is very wrong. Because someone is watching Claire. Someone who's about to discover her murderous little hobby. The thing is, it's not sensible to tangle with a part-time serial killer, even one who is distracted by attending a weekly bereavement support group and trying to get her art career off the ground. Claire will do anything to keep her secret hidden, not to mention the bodies buried in her garden. Let the games begin. Very nice. What is this? Oh, it's a little no. Story about music, who can make it, and obsessively. Okay, that's interesting. It's a novel, uh, Schrader's Chord is a novel for anyone who's ever felt their life preserved becoming, become an anchor. And maybe, if it's needed, will become a new life preserved for those that need one. I can't tell you how many books have been a life preserved for me. That's actually really sweet, and I can agree to that 100%. Oh, I love this. this, is where things get really cool on the bottom. Okay. We have... Signed from... I believe this is Scott. So this is this is um, the author of Shredder's Chord, Scott Lead. So we have signed little thing for them. We've got some stickers. Making killing into an art. Actually, is that a magnet? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. I'm going to put that in the fridge. Hell yeah. Uh, we have uh, bookmarks. This says Milo. Milo, what big eyes you have. What behinds you have. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called Go. <laughs> and then it says Ghost Watch. So I like that. I can go with all my other bookmarks. We've got the Abominable Book Club. It's kind of a digital spoil card. I will keep that covered because that is now mine. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Some advertisement. This is for the book. This is for Scott's book. Very, very nice. Um, so I hope that whoever else has ordered it, that they freaking enjoyed it. <laughs> that they enjoy their little box. I hope they got what they wanted. Um, sorry, I'm just playing with all of the stuff inside the box. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with what I've got. Um, I'm very interested to read them at some point. I've got a huge to be read list. So we'll get back to that. And we're going to go back to our not safe for work. Uh, November. The joys. Well, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. That was our unboxing of the abom 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 abominable book club. Um, link to the website is down below. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Much love. Be good, my little book nerds. And we'll catch you later. Cheers.